This is Concept E Classes and today we will deal with the question and answers of chapter 13 in class 8 science, Sound. Now before we enter into the exercises, let's take a quick revision of what all we have studied in this chapter. First we saw how sound is produced. Sound is produced by a vibrating body. Then we saw how sound is produced in humans. It is through the voice box or the larynx. Then we dealt that sound needs a medium to travel. It can travel through solid, liquid and gas except for vacuum. Then we dealt how we can hear sound through our ears. Then we studied about wave, sound waves and amplitude, time period and frequency of a wave. Then we saw the two types of sound, audible sounds and inaudible sounds. There we saw infrasound and ultrasound as well. And then the difference between noise and music. And finally, we dealt about noise pollution. Now let's enter into the exercises. Exercises. Question number one. Choose the correct answer. Sound can travel through gases only, solids only, liquids only, D, solid, liquid and gases. So what will be the answer? It will be solid, liquid and gases. We know that sound needs a medium to travel and it can travel through solid, liquid as well as gases. In part one video of this chapter, we already saw the examples of how sound travels through this medium. Question number two. Voice of which of the following is likely to have minimum frequency? We studied that the frequency determines the pitch of the sound or the shrillness of the sound. So in this case, which of the following voices would have less frequency or minimum frequency? So if frequency is high, the pitch of the sound would be high and that is there will be more shrillness. So in this case, the man would have less frequency because the pitch of man is very low and the frequency of the man's voice would also be low compared to others. Question number three. In the following statements, tick T against those which are true and F against those which are false. A. Sound cannot travel in vacuum. Is it true or false? It is true because sound needs a medium to travel. Hence the statement is true. B. The number of oscillations per second of a vibrating object is called as time period. Is it time period? No. It is frequency because the number of oscillations per second of a vibrating object is called as frequency. And the time period is the time taken by a wave to complete one oscillation. Hence the statement is false. C. If the amplitude of vibration is large, sound is feeble. Is it true? No, it is false because the loudness is directly proportional to the square of amplitude. Hence, if amplitude is large, the sound would be large. And if the sound amplitude is small, then the sound would be feeble. Hence, the statement is false. D. For human ears, the audible range is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Yes, it is true. E. The lower the frequency of vibration, higher is the pitch. Is it true or false? It is false because we studied that the frequency determines the pitch of the voice. If the high is the frequency, high would be the pitch. If frequency is low, the sound would also be of low pitch. F. Unwanted or unpleasant sound is termed as music. Is it termed as music? No, it is termed as noise. Hence the statement is false. Noise pollution may cause partial hearing impairment. Is it true or false? It is true. We have already uh, dealt about the harmful effects of noise pollution in this chapter. And in that we saw that noise pollution may lead to partial hearing impairment. Question number four. Fill in the blanks with suitable words. A. Time taken by an object to complete one oscillation is called as time period. B. Loudness is determined by dash of the vibration. In the last question we saw. It is determined by the amplitude of the vibration. Loudness is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude of the vibration. C. Unit of frequency is hertz. D. Unwanted sound is called as, unpleasant sound is called as noise. And the shrillness of the sound is determined by dash of the vibration. What will be the answer? Frequency of the vibration. Question number 5. A pendulum oscillates 40 times in 4 seconds. Find its time period and frequency. So let's find out. Now the number of oscillations made by the pendulum is 40. And the time taken by the pendulum to oscillate 40 times is 4 seconds. Now what is frequency? The number of oscillations or vibrations made by an object in 1 second is called as frequency. 
hence frequency equal to number of oscillations by time taken which is equal to 40 by 4 and which is equal to 10 hertz. Now what is time period? The time taken by a wave to complete one oscillation is called as time period and we can write time period as 1 by frequency. How much is the frequency? 10. Hence the time period is 0 0.1 seconds. Question number 6. The sound from the mosquito is produced when it vibrates its wing at an average rate of 500 vibrations per second. What is the time period of the vibration? So here uh, the number of vibrations per second is equal to 500. Hence we can say that frequency is equal to 500 hertz as frequency is the number of vibrations or oscillations made by an object at one second. Now as we study time period is equal to 1 by frequency hence 1 by 500 which is equal to 0 0.002 seconds. Hence the time period of vibration is 0 0.002 seconds. Question number 7. Identify the part which vibrates to produce sound in the following musical instruments. A. Dolak, B. Sitar and C. Flute. First let's see Dolak. The Dolak is a musical instrument which have a thin stretched membrane and when we beat on this membrane it starts to vibrate. Hence, the sound is produced by the vibrations of this thin stretched membrane. Now, let's see sitar. Sitar is a musical instrument that has strings. So, when we play a sitar, we struck the stretched string and the vibration of these stretched strings produces sound. So, here the part which vibrates to produce sound is the strings of the sitar. C. Flute. Now, which part of the flute produces sound? Let's see. When air is blown in the flute, which consists of a hollow pipe, it has a hollow pipe and holes in it. So when we blow air into the flute, the air inside the pipe vibrates. Hence, we can say that the air column present inside the flute produces sound. Question number 8. What is the difference between noise and music? And can music become noise sometimes? Let's see what is the difference between noise and music. What is noise? The unpleasant sounds or the sounds which are unpleasant to hear are called as noise. Example, the unwanted noise from vehicles or the sound for the bursting of crackers, etc. Now, what is uh, music? The sounds which are pleasant to hear are called as musical sound or music. Example, the music coming from the musical instruments. Now, the next question is, can music become noise sometimes? Yes, when music is played loudly, it becomes noise. Question number 9. List sources of noise pollution from your surroundings. Sound of vehicles, noise from the crackers or machines, sounds from loudspeakers, noise from the construction site, television and transmitter radios at high volumes also causes noise pollution. Some kitchen appliances like mixe or some coolers, they also causes noise. Air conditions also contribute to noise pollution. Question number 10. Explain in what way noise pollution is harmful to humans. We know that the presence of excessive or unwanted sound in an environment is called as noise pollution. And the presence of this excessive noise in the surroundings may cause many health related problems like the lack of sleep, hypertension or high blood pressure, anxiety and even temporary or permanent impairment of hearing. Question number 11. Your parents are going to buy a house and they have been offered one on the roadside and another three lanes away from the roadside. Which house would you suggest your parents should buy and explain your answer? Which house would you suggest to buy? Obviously, the house which is three lanes away from the roadside. Now, let's explain why. If the house is near to the roadside, there would be a lot of noise pollution due to the honking of vehicles. Hence, we would suggest to buy a house that is three lanes away from the roadside because there would be less noise as compared to the house, house near the roadside. So, as the distance between the source and the listener increases, the intensity of the noise also decreases. Question number 12. Sketch the larynx and explain its function in your own words. So, you should draw an image of the larynx and label the vocal cords as well. Now, let's explain the function of the larynx. In humans, the sound is produced by the voice box or the larynx. Where is the larynx situated? It is situated at the upper end of the windpipes. And there are two vocal cords attached to the larynx and there is a narrow slit between them for the passage of air. 
So when the lungs force the air through the slit, the vocal cord vibrates to produce sound. We have explained more about larynx or how sound is produced in humans in part 1 video of this chapter. If you have any doubts, please refer the corresponding slides. Question number 13. Lightning and thunder takes place in the sky at the same time and at the same distance from us. Lightning is seen earlier and thunder is heard later. Can you explain why? You might have also noticed this, right? Let's see why. The speed of the light is more than that of the speed of the sound. Speed of the light is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second and the speed of sound is 340 meter per second. Hence, this has the speed of light is more than that of the sound. Lightning is seen earlier than the thunder which is heard later. So that's all for the question and answers of chapter 13. Tune in soon for the next session. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe if you find the contents useful. Thank you so much. May God bless you all. Take care and bye-bye.